look at some of the equipment. Um, first thing we'll look at is the beacon. This is the Sonardyne coastal beacon, sometimes called the transponder, and this is what we're going to use um, in the acoustic tank. We'll moor to a weight and put on the bottom of the tank. This is the deck unit that we use to send the commands, test the battery, check the uh, range for our beacon from the transducer. During the lab, you'll have to read down through the instructions, which is posted on the top lid, the cover of the deck unit. This is a test loop. This is what we use to test the beacon or to send commands or to program it while it's out of the water. And the transducer is what we put in the water to send the actual commands acoustically through the water column. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the deck unit. You can see up in the top left, that's where we will plug in the transducer or the test loop. Here we'll set the address for the beacon that you've been assigned in the lab, and the frequency or to load is on the end, and we'll go through that when you read the instructions. We'll release it by pressing both of these buttons together. We're going to do some testing and ranging and during the lab as well. So here's the instructions that was mentioned previously. So you're going to have to have a read down through um, programming, test release, deck unit operating instructions. The beacons have already been programmed, so we're not going to be doing this for this lab. You will be testing. Um, you will also be checking the battery voltage. You will reset and reload at the end of the lab. And you will be releasing your beacons during the lab. Now we'll get the test loops hooked into the deck unit. Um, this is the loop that will go around the transducer of the beacon. When you go to put in the test loop, just make sure that you're not breaking off any pins. There's a particular way that this should fit on. Um, if you line up the holes with the pins inside, it should be a, a pretty easy, quick fit. You shouldn't have to force anything in there. If it doesn't want to go, just pick it up and give it a little wiggle around, and you can see how smooth it should fit in there. So now we'll take our beacon. We're going to want to put the test loop, you can see the transducer inside there. Um, this is our beacon B5331. This is the shackle of the beacon. This is what we're going to use to moor it to the weight um, before we put it into the acoustic tank, keep it down. So we'll take our test loop now. You can see here we're going to um, try to get it into around the transducer of the beacon. So you can, there's a couple different ways you can try to get it in. As long as the beacon doesn't roll away from you and you keep it steady on the table, it should just loop right in and you can um, squeeze down and tighten it on so that it's got a full contact with the transducer of the beacon. So we'll check again. Our address is 0053. Zero. You can just turn the dials. Zero. Turn this one up to number 5, and this will always depend on which beacon you've been assigned. They all have different values, and our frequency is 3. So we're going to do a test. So we have communication with the beacon. It passed. So now we'll do a battery check. Just press that once, and our battery voltage is 13.21. So this means that we're good to go. The max voltage is 15. So we can unhook our test loop, um, and we'll start the mooring process so that we can drop our beacons into the acoustic tank. going to demonstrate the bowline. This is the knot that you'll be using for all of the moorings. So you make a, a loop, you come around, you come up through, you come around and down in through again. We're going to do this a few times and you pull it tight. You use the bowline because it doesn't slip and you can create a loop so that we can go around some of the equipment such as the um, weights. So this is just a static showing you that you how you are going to make the bowline. And this is also included on your lab handout as well. So you'll have a little bit of time to practice this during the lab. So we're going to take our buoy. We're going to attach it to the top part of the transducer there so that it floats up. That's where we had our test loop hooked in, was into there. So demonstrating the bowline again, you're going to come down through and make a knot and pull it tight. 
And then we're going to take the smaller piece of rope that we have. We're going to go from the shackle at the bottom of the beacon, again with the bowlin. Um, attach the small rope to the shackle on this end, and then you're going to take the other end of the small rope and put it through the weight. Now, when you make that loop, you want to make sure that it's not a big loop so that the weight, the head of that weight, can't come through the loop. Now we're going to take our safety line, and this is also our lowering line, so we're going to use this to help put the weight into the, in the acoustic tank, and if something should happen and the beacon isn't released, we can at least get it, we can just pull it back up. So this is our safety line. So you can see, bowling's quite easy to do, pull it tight, um, and this is the actual mooring of the equipment. So now when you deploy the beacon, just throw the buoy on top and let everything sink to the bottom. Be careful with the weight. It is a 25 pound weight, so they're pretty heavy. And don't let it slip between your hands. Do the hand over hand so that you don't get any rope burn um, as the beacon and weight is being deployed to the bottom of the acoustic tank. Once the beacon is fully lowered, just tie off the safety line so that it doesn't uh, get lost in the pool and that it's not nobody's tripping up over it. Next, we'll deploy the transducer into the side of the acoustic tank. It's been plugged into the deck unit and you just dip it in probably about half a meter or so over the water side. So now we'll get ready to release the beacons. Make sure that the address and frequency is set properly on the deck unit so you have zero, zero, five and the frequency is three. Um, in order to release we press both program and battery load together once which enables it and then once it's passed we can press it again and then that will send the release command through the transducer uh, through the water column to the beacon subsea. For the purpose of illustration to show you what happens uh, when it's underwater I've just left the unit on the table and I have this up with the test loop now and you can see that that little square piece that that's moored to the weight and that's what gets released so because of the buoy um, the beacon itself will float up and you'll see this coming up in the videos and now we just have the time lapse of what uh, happens when the beacon is in the acoustic tank it takes about 30 to 40 seconds for it to actually um, be released once the command is set and this is just video has just been sped up So once the beacon has been retrieved, we bring it back over to the table and we're going to have to load our connector piece back onto the bottom of the mooring. So we'll hook up the test loop and just apply a gentle pressure to the connector and then you'll go over to the deck unit and press load and just hold it there until it um, is fully reloaded. You'll hear it and you'll feel it when it's um, completed. In order to do the load command, all you have to do is put the test loop on, make sure that it's on load, and you press load, and then that's enough.